I'm going to take care of holding down the fort over here, okay? <laughs> Season 9 of MasterChef is in full swing, and tonight, Big Easy Cooking is not so easy. The season for the first time, the judges, they're actually competing. One of the contestants from the show is an attorney from Atlanta, and she joins us this morning. Lindsay, good morning to you. Thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. Good morning. Thanks ready, for having me. Ready for the big challenge? I'm ready for the big challenge. All right, I like, I like what you've done here. you got lobster on your bow tie. You have lobster on your shoes. We have lobster on the table. You even have a lobster tattoo. I do. You? I do. Do you like lobster? Not at all. <laughs> not not at all. All right, why is this the big not easy? What does it tell us about tonight's show? we got a whole bag of the freshest seafood that you want to honor the, the seafood, but we had so much to choose from and some things that were crawling around and trying to <laughs> escape, just like my guy is right here. So we had a lot to work with, but... You know, we, we also had our own Sanchez cooking with us, which mm -hmm. is a little intimidating because right. you've got him preparing a dish right next to you. Sure. And I mean, who can really compete with that? Next time you talk to him, give him a little hard time about the Falcons versus the Saints, okay? I know <laughs> I like to mess with him when it comes to that. Uh, 24 contestants we started with, down to 18. So you made the cut so far, right? So far, so good. All right, what are we going to make right here today? So today we're going to make... Uh, a lobster bake soup, I like to okay. call it. It's everything I like about a lobster bake, but kind of easier for the the end user to, to have because you don't have to actually crack the lobster, cook the lobster. Okay. So it comes in a cold form and it's already done for you. So the first thing that we're going to do is the most humane way to kind of get this lobster in the pot is mm -hmm. to stick your knife right here behind his eyes and come right down through okay. him. Then we'll put him in some boiling water. All right. 12 to 14 minutes, he'll come out. When he comes out, he looks like this. Nice and red. <laughs> nice and red, ready to go. So it, typically in this dish, I use the tail. The tail is the biggest part mm -hmm. of the meat. You don't want to get rid of the claws because that's good eating too, but you, I use the tail. So what you do to get the tail off, quick twist and pull. Just crunch it in half that way and pull it open. You do that tail comes so much better than I do. Out. Would. Easy. I, bet you, I make a total mess and I need 14 napkins and the whole deal. Well, right? that's why they make those lobster bibs, right? That, so, okay. you know, you can use them for cooking or for when you're eating. So this way yeah. I don't have to serve a, a lobster bib when I'm serving it to my guests because this part's already done. Okay. So I'm going to chop up my lobster meat, put it aside. Okay. That's ready to go. And while you're doing this, tell me about how you guys are kind of paired up with the judges this season, how the judges are kind of part of the competition as well. So the judges are, are absolutely part of the, con the competition for the first time this season. Uh, they had eight aprons to give out. Mm -hmm. um, there were 43 people competing for those. Oh, basically good with a knife, by the way. 24 aprons. And here's the thing. If you hold the corn on the side instead of holding it upright, mm -hmm. it doesn't go everywhere because my wife hates when I make such a mess in the kitchen. Another so. great tip I picked up this morning. So I'm going to have the corn. I just get the corn into some chicken stock, okay. and I'm going to get that just cooking down uh, and get it to soften. So the judges uh, each had eight aprons to give out, and obviously they want the last person standing having their pin in their apron. Sure. So they're, they're competing to keep their people on, so they're you know, mentoring us throughout the process to try to help us get them to the end as well as to get us to the end. Okay, we got just a few more uh, seconds here, so tell us what we're gonna do to finish so, up this dish. To finish up the dish, you're gonna put the corn in, you're just gonna uh, blend the corn with a little bit of creme fraiche, a little bit of uh, cream in there just mm -hmm. to get the consistency of a soup. You strain that out, and at the end- Through the magic of through television, the magic I of love television, this. We end up with a lobster bake soup. Okay, well I'm gonna give that a try if that's okay. Absolutely. Did you bring a spit? wait, if you kidding me. <laughs> Come prepared. Just in case. You know, I've just always got case. one just in case. Absolutely. Well, before I take a bite of this, I want to wish you luck. Thank and I want to ask you. you where you got that tie. Uh, I got that from Vineyard Vines. Oh, Vineyard Vines. We kind of match a little ties. bit. I don't know if you Vineyard noticed. Vines, we kind of match but... a little bit. Oh, you're, you're going to get a side deal, are you? Here we go. <laughs> what we do on my burger segment, when we like something, we give it a thumbs up. Right there. Thumbs there up. we go. All right, thanks for coming in today. Thank it's you delicious. for having me. Good luck to you. Thank you. And you can catch tonight. I'm talking with my mouth full on TV, but I do that all the time. <laughs> you can catch tonight's episode of MasterChef tonight at 8 o'clock right here on Fox 5. 8.53 is your time. The cartoon Rugrats.